Okay, so I've uh, recorded the reversed electric sitar and um, it turned out really, really nice. But uh, this is one of those tricky harmonic songs. It doesn't like work the whole way through. So, um, when it comes to these ideas, I very seldom have... I have an idea of the texture and how I want it to like relate to the other sounds, but I don't necessarily... It doesn't have to be something that covers the whole thing or like takes care of it. I don't... I'd rather have a lot of little ingredients that like create a bigger image than doing like the big chunky one that solves everything. At least for this song. <laughs> but so I thought I could show you what I've been up to and how how it works. So I've got the uh, electric uh, sitar going backwards here. If I stop it, you can hear it forward. Like. So it goes backwards, and then it's uh, in through the ring modulator. And now I'm using the ring modulator as a uh, as a tremolo. So we'll put that on. So it's cutting in and out, and then I've got this little uh, guy, the uh, Zvex ringtone, and this is a uh, this is eight ring modulators in a row doing this. So we put on two ring modulators in a row, and then we'll add a delay. And then, and then quite simply what I've done is that I'm playing the level on the loop station and the feedback on the uh, delay so I can get it to go in waves and it'll just show up now and then. But I'm doing it like in, not in complete random, but with the music. And then I'm doing two takes. So I'm, I'm, once again, I'm getting it in stereo. But the good thing is that what happens is that as this is just randomly recorded without a tempo, it's just moving along the loop station. Um, the, the thing that happens is that uh, they'll start like intermodulating, so you'll get like different sections of the thing in one speaker and maybe another section of it in the other speaker. But the delay will even that out, and then you've got the choppiness of the different ring modulators that are like cutting it up in random but they're throwing it around so you can get like a beautiful mess if we're lucky it's a beautiful mess I can show you what it sounds like in uh, in context I know you like that so we'll just play it Yamaha GX1 The Soon Kit And you can even make that even more uh, ambient and more like elusive and using delays and having it shooting back and forth in the stereo image. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like that choppy. I kind of like it because if, if we're using really uh, like paddy sounds like the orchestron and the way I recorded the GX1, um, I think it would be really great to have something that is harmonic and rhythmic that is also kind of like catching your ear. I, ear. Anyway, so you, you've got this thing going on between the speakers and it's just like fluttering and it'll get your attention and move you forward for another like eight bars of middle eight. Uh, 
But, so there you go. Stereo reverse guitar is going through double ring modulators and echo. This is sounding, this is starting to sound like a cooking show, isn't it? Like, how, add some basil and, and thyme and everything will be great. But watch out for those potatoes or whatever. Anyways, now you've seen it. Because I can't, like, leave you hanging with just, like, half the thing. Now you've heard it. Okay.